Hey, what's up, everyone? Journeyman here, and welcome back to the Green Lion. So today is episode number eighteen? Question mark. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Don't quote me on that. You'll find out in the thumbnail. All right. So today's episode, we take on Ashford United, and then we take on Canterbury City. Yes, Canterbury City. Uh, Ashford are currently tenth in the table. Canterbury, I believe, are seventh. Question mark. Yep, they are seventh in the table. And so since the very last episode, where it was a 6-2 demolition of Ramsgate, uh, we beat Chipstead here 5-1. Hattrick from Robbie Alec, uh, Ryan Lane and Frank the Tank. And uh, then after that, two disappointing uh, defeats. Uh, first was a 3-1 defeat away at Three Bridges. And then we lost at home against Thames Mead town um so overall i mean obviously losing two in a row at this point in the season isn't ideal but lucky for us uh chelmsford sorry chelsea um carl charlton athletic haven't really uh took advantage of it and they're currently three points behind us obviously obviously us having a, a greater goal difference by a lot about what was that uh, 34 34 plus 34 goal difference there so goal difference is not going to be in question so it's kind of worth an extra point um all right, so, uh, yeah, team news. No team news to really speak about. Sorry, I was doing some research on, uh, see what was kind of going wrong here. Um, copy and selection, there you go. This is, this is the one I like to use, by the way. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, by the way, um, Buster Net Performance Tracker, it's a really good tool. Uh, it kind of gives you an indication, as you see, uh, key passes per 90 minutes, assists uh, per 90 minutes as well. Kind of gives you an indication on who's a, the more creative team players and things like that. It's it's really nice. It's really well laid out. If you haven't tried it out, I, I do recommend it. Um, it's quite a big file, as you can see, though. Uh, chances created, dribbling, shooting, shooting percentage, distance ran, things like that. So it's a really nice tool if you want to delve deeper into the uh the analytics of your squad um i i kind of do it every now and then but honestly i i don't even think it's going badly if things are going badly then I'm trying to work out who my best players are and that's one of the little little things i use to help me decide that but anyway going into today's game um no real injuries to talk about as you can see there's a lot of players that are unavailable and just because well you know they are they're on trial from us, the youth team. We don't actually have an under-18 team, so they're kind of stuck in there. So it looks really congested in there right now. Uh, obviously, they're going to end on trial pretty soon, so that'll clean it up nicely because I do hate how jumbled that looks. But anyway, going into today's game, uh, we're going to make a change. Robbie Leg has been starting up top ahead of Eddie Davison. Eddie Davison will come back into the side. Um, 32 goals this season for Eddie Davison. Robbie Legg, he's, he's, he was good. He was good uh, while Eddie and Frank were injured. Um, he came in, did a really good job for us, uh, but I got to feel like I have to return back to the team that started so well on the season. Eddie Davison was a big part of that. I mean, he's got 32 goals and 27 assists, so it's hard to keep a guy out of a team with such an impressive record like that. Uh, Goalkeeper-wise, Ross Flitney. I was seeing goal there with Jones, Lander, and Reed at the back. Uh, Wingbacks, uh, Wheeler and Roberts. Steele, Robertson through the middle with Mays, Rosenwald, and Davis. And that means there's no place in the side uh, for Ryan Lane, who has just returned from injury. He will take a place on the bench instead of Jay Lovett. Um, and he'll be an option for our wing backs in case we need to make any changes there. But uh, yeah, we'll go into this game against Ashford. Now, this is, um, by the way, this is a. I'm actually recording this differently today. I'm using OBS over action. So this is kind of a trial episode for me to see how well it turns out. I haven't actually used OBS for recording at all. Um, so this is new. I'm going to try this. Something a little bit different. Uh, primarily, I wasn't happy with the, the quality uh, that action was giving me. And uh, a lot of people rave about OBS. So I thought, you know what? Let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. So here we go. Uh, playing away from home against Ashford United. As uh, you guys would do remember from the season, our away record isn't the greatest in the world. We tend to do better at home. I'm hoping that'll change. I think over preseason, I'm going to do a lot of away fixtures because I want to try out a few little tweaks uh, to the tactic. So we, when we play away from home, we'll have kind of a, a go-to away tactic rather than me trying to make tactical adjustments on the fly um, towards the end of the season. Obviously, my promotion is still in the cards. I'd rather wait until preseason to try some stuff out. But anyway, here's Perkins to Richford. Hits it ball forward here. That's an easy claim for Flitney, who, by the way, is a sweeper keeper. I am thinking about transferring him to a bit more of a traditional role and dropping my defensive line a little bit back further. But here's Rosenwald through on goal. 
chance for Frank and uh, I expected him to find the back of the net there. That was a great opportunity for Frank Rosenwald. Here's Andy Robinson, though, from the corner looking for Jones. Can't find him. The Man of Steel is there to pick up the pieces, though. Richard is going to make the clearance. He finds Jones. Jones calmly plays back to Roberts. Lander's going to launch his ball forward. Finds Eddie Davison there. That's a wonderful ball in the box and a tap-in for Matt Mays at the back post. So Matt Mays here opens the score in here within 22 minutes. Good finish there for Matt Mays. All right, here's uh, Jamal Roberts to Robinson. Plays it all the way back to Flit Knee. Here's Lander now. He's going to launch his ball long. Bit of a hit and hope. It was nowhere near uh, the intended target, Eddie Davison. Still does well. Rosenwald does even better. Um, hits it long now. Davison is going to give chase. He's not giving up on it. Eddie Davison really well there. And a fantastic finish there from super, super Eddie Davison. So he's back in the side today and has got himself a goal and an assist there. Great work from him, chasing down the opposition defender, forcing him into an error, and he's toxic calmly past the goalkeeper there. Goalkeeper didn't even bother moving. So uh, thank you for the assist, Mr. Goalkeeper. And here's Richford now from a set piece. Ball's whipped in. Oh, that was close. A sigh. Goalkeeper's crowded there. Flitney couldn't come out to make the punch. And uh, they almost got back here on level terms. There's Wheeler now. There's Mays, 3-0 level terms. What are we talking about? That would have been 2-1. Never mind. But it's 3-0 now, so it doesn't matter any any which way. Good build up here. Solid football. Wheeler got uh, in there. Rosenwald heads it back to Mays and a really good finish there for Matt Mays. He's on one of those days today away. Anything he touches will probably be at least on target. He has days when he couldn't hit a, a barn door with a beach ball. Um, but uh, another day is like this. He just takes two, just takes literally, gets a chance, finds the back of the net. Having one of those days, which is uh, pleasing, to say the least. Um, what am I talking about? Oh, well. Um, so here's Andy Robinson. It's a steal. Back to Roberts. Good looking ball. There's Rosenwald. Now, Rosenwald gets himself on the score sheet as well. 4 0 here before halftime. It's looking like we're going to return to winning ways here after two defeats in a row. All right, so halftime here and uh, dominating, absolutely dominating. Um, only that one chance uh, for Ashford to really talk about. Otherwise, it's been us, all us, in fact, uh, finding uh, just finding the back in there and taking our chances very, very well. So we continue with the same side out there for the second half. All right, here's Whelan now. Throws the ball away, literally. Here's uh, Mambo. Of course, we're number five. All right, this is Elridge. Switches the play out to Perkins. Come on, boys. Get stuck in. We're sitting off them too deep, so I'm not sure why this happens. But we have periods of the game where we, we, we sit off the opposition players. And I'm not sure why, because I do have it set to close down more. The, the, you know, I, I like to play pressing football, and you kind of have to with the system, try and win the ball back as quickly as possible. And uh, they get a goal back here in the 63rd minute from Blake Davis. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure why that happens. Why why we can't seem to close down the entire 90 minutes. This could be because the players are semi-professional and they get tired. That could be the case. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at that. But here's uh, Wheeler now. Cross in. Nobody's anywhere near the ball. Here's Perkins now. Obviously, if Ashford get a goal here... It could make the last 25 minutes or so pretty awkward. He's going to take on Wheeler. Now he's beat Wheeler there for pace. Jones with the clearance there and Robinson's going to complete it. That's a good ball forward too. Frank's uh, making the most of that one. Oh, and it's gone in somehow. Frank is going to claim it, but it was quite clearly an own goal there. Tom Stewart there with the nightmare scenario. Smacking on the inside of the post. And uh, hitting straight off the chest and going in. Making it 5-1. Here's Jones there. That was a good opportunity there for Owen Jones to get himself on the score sheet. So uh, 70 minutes on the clock here. What we'll do is we'll make a, a change in there. Robinson still recovering from injury. Tom Delamar on the bench. It's great to have lots of options. We had Robinson, Lane, or Orford. Oh, sorry, uh, Tom Delamar, Lane, or Orford, I should say, as options to bring off the bench. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to have options this season. Last year, we didn't really have many of them. Um... I kind of want to bring off Wheeler here, but I've got no one else to play right wing back. Yeah, no one else can play right wing back. So we'll bring off Roberts, we'll bring on Ryan Lane, and change up top. Yeah, let's bring on Robbie Leg. 
for Frank. Give Frank a break. Right, Stewart's going to hit this long now. Stanislav to Simpson, who's played it through on goal, and Jones does very well to sweep up the loose ball. Clears it only as far as their left back. Here's Perkin, uh, Perkins back to Richford. Richard crosses it in. That's a free head at the back post, but lucky enough it was straight at Ross Flitney in goal. Now right, here's Jonesy now. Good to start with the wall cheaply here. And Davis now through on goal. Then Tavers is going to get there to make it 5-2. Um, honestly, it's it's kind of uh, amateuristic defending there from the boys. It's very, very slack defense here at the end of the game. Let's uh, Ashford in a couple of goals. Obviously, goal difference isn't a big deal for us. So that's not the problem. But what I don't like is the, the inconsistency and the lack of uh, concentration in the side. It seems to be wanting. Is Willen. That's a fantastic ball, by the way, and that's a good save. That's a great save from Tom Stewart. He's had his bad moments today, but that was a great save from Eddie Davison. All right, so we've got about uh, 20 seconds left to go in this game, and it's going to finish a uh, comfortable victory uh, for the Green Lions. And it's it's deserved. We've been the better side on the day. You know, we've taken our chances when we've got them. So um, it's hard to argue with the results. And it uh, looks like Kyle Shelton are winning as well. Um, so still three points clear there. And obviously those two defeats, by the way, did let in uh, the potential of a few other teams outside of uh, Kyle Shelton. I think uh, three bridges are up there now. And I think Corinthian casuals are in there too, fighting away. So it gives them opportunity and some hope to try and catch up. To catch us, I should say. Uh, yeah, so Corinthian are third, 74, six points behind us, and Three Bridges are seven points behind us. And obviously, there's still quite a bit of football left to play. So, uh, yeah, we'll skip ahead now, and uh, I'll see you guys just before the Canterbury City game. All right, so here we go up against Canterbury City now at home. They currently sit eighth in the table while we are obviously at the summit. So, uh, playing at home up against Canterbury. Uh, last time we played them, it was a win come what the score line was exactly um but uh we are missing ryan lane by the way he picked up a yellow card in the last one which means he is out through suspension so who's going to come in instead of him I, I guess danny hunt we'll bring danny hunt in there give us options at right wing back so no need to make a change to the side it was a comfortable victory pretty pleasing performance as well so it'll be a uh, flip knee goal uh with jones lander reed roberts and wheeler a wing back robinson steel through the middle of the field davison rosenwald and matty mays lead in the line so if we get an early goal here uh that will definitely give us the upper advantage for the rest of the game i do find that if we score the first goal we usually go on to win the game i don't know the exact statistic i actually did work it out at one point it was something ridiculous, like if we score the first goal, we have an 85 to 90% chance of going on to win the game. And I think um, that kind of shows that when we get ourselves ahead, when we're not fighting uphill, we're a completely, completely different team. So we have to start brightly in these games. So uh, here's an early highlight here, though, six minutes in. Uh, Davison's got himself in a great position. Wonderful ball, looking for Mays, can't find him. There's Steele at the edge of the area, he finds Wheeler with a wonderful ball again. Davison creeping in the back post. Roberts is tackled. It was a good clean tackle, though. Here's uh, Robinson. Finds Steele at the edge of the area. There's Roberts again. That's a great ball to Mays. And Mays can't hit the target, though. Good bit of football, though. Good pressure here early on from the uh, the Green Lions. All right, McCarthy's launches ball forward for Canterbury. There's Coyle. He's there to pick up the loose pieces. There's Madison. Plays it over to Matai. Takes on Wheeler, but Wheeler easily handles him. Maze of a wonderful ball to Eddie Davis. It's through on goal. He hit it straight at the keeper. The keeper was shown in the near post, but he decides to hit it straight at the goalkeeper. Once again, the highlight system proven to make all the sense and logic in the world. Actually, what do you guys think about maybe switching to the 2D match engine uh, for the remainder of this series? I, I, I've tried doing a 3D kind of highlight system for a while, and I wanted to give it another shot because it is a new engine, and obviously there are a lot of issues early on in the uh, fm18 versions so i'm thinking about maybe switching back to 2d classic that seems to be my preferred uh viewing enjoyment for my preferred view and enjoyment because i feel like the 3d match engine it just drives me insane sometimes like the utter ridiculousness of some of the animations 
and here's a chance now for Eddie Davison puts it over the bar but um, I do find that I enjoy the game more in 2D Classic so I'm thinking about switching to that just let me know in the comments below if you want to keep this 3D or maybe just do 3D for the highlights and goals and then for everything else it'll be a 2D let me know below let me know in the comments below what do you guys think all right so the halftime here and it's still nil nil now we are dominating the game with a many we have many more clear-cut chances and they had three to their nothing we had six half chances as well um, the fact we're not ahead now is a little bit concerning because these kind of games are the ones we go ahead and usually lose. Um, so here's Robinson now. He's going to switch it out to Eddie Davidson. He's got plenty of space to operate. That's a great ball to Mays. And we found the back of the net finally here. 47 minutes, just two minutes after the halftime interval. And uh, Matt Mays has put us 1-0 up. Great cross there from Eddie Davidson. Andy Robinson seen the run of Eddie. And uh, Eddie did well. Good, beautiful ball at the back post. Left back went wandering, and uh, Mays with the easy header at the far post. All right, here's Green now. He's going to further in Davison there. Read the pass. There's Rosenwald. Beautiful switch pass to Matt Mays. He makes it 2 0. Absolute epitome there of quality counter attacking football. They're winning the ball back quickly, getting it forward even quicker, and uh, produces. A great opportunity. Wonderful ball from Frank Rosenwald. Perfectly weighted. Matt May is one touch out of his feet and slides it past the goalkeeper. So 2-0 uh, no here within 55 minutes. And uh, we'll look on track here for another victory. Here's Eddie Davison now. Oh, good save from the keeper. Touch it onto the post. Almost made it 3-0. Right, so it is Wheeler now. Throw it into Maisie. Maisie gives the ball away. A little bit lusterly. Now he gets it back though. Here's Maze. He puts the ball in and... That's a wonderful own goal, the back post from Green. That's a fantastic <laughs> header there from Damian Green. And uh, he's now put us 3-0 up. All right, Wheeler's now 82 minutes on the clock. I haven't made any changes yet, uh, mainly because I don't really feel like it. So I feel like uh, I want to try and keep the same 11 out there, trying to, trying to build a little bit of team cohesion, I think the uh, technical term is. Uh, but here's Matai out to Hannah. Obviously, if some players get tired, I will take them off here. But I do think I'm going to keep the same 11 on. I don't do this very often. Um, Robinson's on a little bit tired there, but uh, we'll keep him on. Uh, just for the main of the game. It was only three minutes ago anyway. But here's Jamal Roberts. Carries the ball a long way there. Intriguing ball in the box. He's uh, easily cleared, though, in the end. Matai gives the ball away to Jamal Roberts again. Roberts having a really quietly having a nice game there. Of course, as soon as I mentioned that. He gives the ball away. All right, so Wheeler there. That's a poor touch from Wheeler. Keep balls now through on goal, and that's a good save from Ross Flitney. Probably the best chance of the game so far for Canterbury, and it came in the 88th minute. Defensively, we've actually played pretty pretty well today. Um, kind of, they kind of dealt with anything that Canterbury has kind of thrown at us. And uh, going forward, obviously, it took us to the 48th minute to open the deadlock, despite having plenty of chances. But uh, I suppose in the end of things... It doesn't really matter as long as you get, as long as you get the goal you need. Um, but here is Roberts now to Davison. Here's Owen Jones again. He's going to launch this ball long. Davison's going to latch onto that, and Davison actually fouled the uh, Canterbury defender. So with only 30 seconds left in this game, it's going to finish here, uh, three nil to the Green Lions. There's been two victories in a row after two defeats. I'm hoping these two games will be the uh, catalyst now to see us through the rest of the season. Obviously, we've only got, what we got, uh, 21. So we've got five games left of this season, and things are looking pretty positive. We're three points clear of Chelms, uh, Chelms was, I keep calling him Chelms, but Carl Shelton. The three points clear of Carl Shelton going into the last five games of the season. Obviously, we do still have um a uh, quarter a semi-final of the ishmian cup to go into as well we play margate who play in a division above us uh, but we can't get distracted by that promotion was my number one aim at the beginning of the season and uh, so far we are on track to achieve that so uh let's go ahead and uh, take a look here at the uh, league table uh, as you can see three points clear of carl shelton carl shelton won the last couple of games after dropping two like we did uh, three bridges are starting to catch them up a little bit though they are now seven points behind us um, unlikely to catch us but you never know I've seen stranger things happen uh, Corinthian casuals as well going strong four wins in a row for them and then after that you got Favishum who's also on 74 points having a nice end of the season run um, Hastings though dropped off the pace there 69 points so I'm pretty sure 
Uh, one more victory here will guarantee us to be in the playoffs once more. But playoffs is not where we want to be, is it? We want to want to go up as champions. That's what our aim is. So going forward, um, we have Hivetown next up, and then we take on Margate and then Faversham. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do Hivetown away from the camera, and then we'll take on Margate and Faversham in the very next episode, and then we'll have a clear idea on what we need to do uh, for the remainder of the season to go up as champions. Uh, and then the last episode, we'll do a three-part, three-episode game, sorry, three-game episode with uh, Sittenborn, Hearn Bay, and then Chesham United to, round, to wrap up the season. And maybe there'll be a cup final in there as well. It'll be a long episode, but I think it'll be decent viewing if we have a chance to win the league and obviously win a cup if we if we get through Margate first and foremost. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this is actually recorded. Um, I'm checking every now and then. I will look over, check, make sure OBS hasn't crashed on me. And so far, it's working out pretty good. Uh, let me know. In the comments below, areas of team you think we need to improve. Um, yeah, that's really about it. I haven't got more to say, to be honest with you. Just be filling time. But uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.